My world flipped upside down. It's the news no one wants to hear. Every bit of strength that I thought that I had while I was like laying on that table was gone. Because you don't, nobody expects this to happen, you know? And, and I said like before, I'm a planner. This was not my plan. Cancer. Aaron Bustos is a healthy, active 30 year old adult with no history of breast cancer in her family. But earlier this year, a new pain triggered only by her uniform caught her attention. I mean, wearing a vest isn't comfortable in general. We all know that, but it was a different type of uncomfortableness. Bulletproof vests can save lives, typically from something like this. But from Meridian police officer Aaron Bustos, her bulletproof vest helped her find a mass about this size in her right breast. It was um, stage two grade three invasive ductal carcinoma, breast cancer, in other words. In the United States, one in eight women will develop breast cancer in her lifetime, breast cancer being one of the most common cancers found in American women today. Shortly after receiving her diagnosis, Erin was told she'd have to begin in vitro fertilization immediately if she wished to have children. I started IVF the day after I met with my surgeon for the first time day after. Like I know chemo kills a lot of things, but I did not know that it kills your eggs. Mm -hmm. So being um, a young adult, you know, with cancer, there's like a, there's a lot of different things that you have to process that, you know, maybe when you get cancer when you're older, you don't have to process. Three weeks of IVF later, Erin and her husband successfully ended their cycle with Anne were able to meet with a genetic counselor. It was actually super helpful because then we had the opportunity to test our embryos so that cancer ends with Aaron. I can be a sacrificial lamb for my future children. But because of Aaron's cancer, hormones developed during pregnancy put her at risk to want children and to potentially not be able to do it was earth shattering for us. I still don't have a safe way to keep myself from from recurrence mm -hmm. and also have kids at the same time. Despite the changes and pain that come with her diagnosis, Erin is hoping her story will motivate other young women to get checked regularly. I was not blessed to be put in this situation. Uh, nobody wants cancer, but if I can do something positive with it, why, why wouldn't I? You know, I, I have a platform, I have a voice, I have a story. You know, and as painful as my story is to me still, it can still help maybe make someone's story a little bit easier later. Reporting in Meridian, I'm Frankie Catafias for Idaho News 6. And the Meridian Police Department is selling pink patches in Aaron's honor for $10 each. Money raised will help Aaron and her husband with medical expenses. Any leftover money will be donated to breast cancer research.